You started off, it sounded like you had kind of a difficult childhood. You had a good relationship with your father, but your mother wasn't really there for you. Yeah. My mom, like me and my sisters were just like terrified of her. So we always like from as long as I can remember, we just, we hated her. Like Mm -hmm. we were so scared of her. And like our dad was like, as soon as he come home from work, we would like stop hiding. Like we would hide while my dad's at work. So we were so scared of her. And they finally got divorced when I was six. Mm -hmm. And, um, Like it was childhood got better at that point, but I feel like something in me was just kind of like off since then. Like, Mm -hmm. I I don't know if it was just like, I couldn't trust my own mom and she would like say she would kill me and just really bad stuff. Yeah. And, um, well, going through this book, I actually like went and got my court files from my parents' divorce so I could read it. And like, I started finding out new things that I didn't remember in my head. Oh, wow. So it started like, just like abuse that physical abuse that I didn't remember. So it just kind of like brought up new wounds too. Mm -hmm. And I feel like because I couldn't trust my own mom, that is why I acted out like my whole life and what Mm -hmm. I was searching for now, like in hindsight, seeing like how my life and how I dealt with everything. I just, I just totally acted out, but my dad was so loving and I feel so bad because we would be always like, why couldn't you give us a good mom? And he was like, but he like fought so hard. He got the custody of me and my two sisters. So he was raising three girls by himself. Yeah. Well, I mean, thank God, at least you had like one parent that cared about you and took care of you. Right. Um, Yeah. And you do seem to mention in the book a few times that you probably, um, the lack of love and attention from your mom caused you to seek validation in other people and do you think that that's kind of partially why you got into porn I think I mean for when I'm writing this like in the second chapter about how it was just always sexual Mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense to me like that's why I just think like like some people are just really sexually made Mm -hmm. or I don't know if it's maybe something that is affected by me being traumatized by my mom. I don't know. But Mm -hmm. like, I've always, I remember seeing like a playboy when I was super young Mm -hmm. and being like, I want to be like that. Mm -hmm. And just always being so sexual, like way before most kids are sexual. Right. Right. So I don't know if it was an attention thing from people or or if if I'm just sexual. Wired that way. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe a combination of both. I think it's a, it's kind of impossible to say because I think everybody is a result of nature and nurture combined. And right. it's, I think it's really difficult to tease the, the two out, mm-hmm. like one from the other. And, you know, from my experience, having interviewed a lot of people in this industry, I've had people on who grew up in loving homes where, you know, their parents were there for them and they still were sexual from a young age right. and then people who come from broken homes. So I think it's, um, I think it's hard to say. I think it's something that like a lot of people who are anti-porn like to latch on to because yeah. they like to be like, oh, these reasons are why you became a porn star. But like, I knew accountants right. that came from like broken homes, you know right. what I mean? Exactly. So it's like, it's prevalent everywhere. Yeah. So it's, it's hard to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.